Time now for our Trader Rundown. Joining me today is Tim Bigham of Options Insider. Always wonderful to have you on the show, Great Trader Tim. Things, Let's talk about this market because it is beginning to get a bit of a holiday feel going on here. What do you think about the market action? Yeah, I mean, the big, uh, you know, lift uh, we've seen so far, I think, may be a precursor to even, you know, a slower trading volume coming in the end of the week as, you know, guys may be position squaring even earlier than normal here. So certainly, you know, volume would be like come Thursday, Friday, and even next Tuesday as uh, guys take off for the uh, Memorial weekend. I'm hearing a lot of traders are just moving it and getting out of Dodge Thursday, Friday, forget it. So how will that affect just the trading volume and the market activity, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Volumes absolutely be down, which means volatility can be up here because the machines don't take a holiday. People do, so they can leave the machines on to do what they need to do. And I think you'll see some, you know, big, big trading ranges, but not much volume attached to it. So unless you're a short-term trader, probably best to follow the big guys out of town. Let's talk about some individual stock names. I know you're watching Gap. What are you seeing there? Yeah, Gap, we saw some huge huge option volume over the past couple of days in the very short term May options that expire this Friday. So saw over 45,000 the May 18 calls trade. This is post earnings. Gap came out with earnings basically met on both the top and bottom line, but implied volatility, which is a fancy way to say the price of the options, shot off the charts on this big buyer. So I like a simple buy right, buying the stock, which is yielding about 5%, selling these comparatively overpriced calls to hedge off some of that risk, looking to capture that overpayment while getting paid a nice yield along the way. Another retail name that you're watching is Haynes. What do you see happening with Haynes? Yeah, absolutely. Another kind of boring name that, you know, I gravitate to. But again, big option volume, kind of unusual out of the blue last week. So with about 15,000 of the June at the money, 35 calls trading. So I'm kind of following along with that. Just went out to the simple call trade out in July, bought the July 35 calls, like that the fact that they're lower implied volatility, but looking for Haynes, which has come down sharply here, again, high yield, low PE, I think value will outpace growth going forward here for the second half of the year. And essentially you think that Haynes could trade above $35 this summer. Yeah, absolutely. It was you know, well over uh, 39 not too long ago. So uh, the fact that it's at a you know, relatively trough valuation, decent yield, and you know, my kind of outlook that value is going to be an outperformer to growth, I kind of like all three of those blended together. All about buying low and selling high. Yeah, absolutely, always. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. You bet, anytime, Andy.